Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Live. Today we're gonna take a look at a um, new feature of VRLine IO. So basically there's a new feature called Screen Share. And with Screen Share, as you can see here, you can see like a, like a talking head. This is me. Um, this is actually using the, the web camera of my iMac. And there is an app running in the background. So let me show you which app is running. So, okay, this is the app. It's called the hallway tile, all right? And I'm using the avatar that's coming with the, uh, they're like a preset. I can set it up to different avatar, like this one. And it's just like um, Apple Memoji. Uh, I can be any avatar. I mean, it's only showing my face, but that's probably what you need for most of the time. Yeah, yeah. The avatar is actually the same avatar <laughs> that's showing here. I think it's from Ready Player Me, from Wolf 3D. Yeah, I can actually just augment myself as a different avatar. So I think this is a pretty interesting. Um, I mean, the VR land. Uh, this is inside the area called Dome. So this app is running. I I, I don't know how to close this. Anyway, I could just switch full screen. Now we are okay. We are back. We can do like a presentation or talk, and you can invite your friend into the link if you provide the link, and you can kind of play around and communicate to them like as an avatar. Okay, so but you can also do this. So I will I will turn this off for a while. I I wish I could s still have this avatar while okay I have Blender here. I want to click on the screen share and this time I want to share blender okay cool VRLAN is sharing a window all right so we have blender here and we can do like a like a normal presentations maybe like a live noting I can try making something fancy with Susan head Geometry nodes, okay, that might be a little bit small. I mean, the user can walk closer. And I don't actually need to, look. I, I will go full screen here. So the user will actually look at the screen like that. I think it's a bit crop. Mm, okay, maybe. If I make this smaller, okay, I have a, I have the talking head over here. Um, I can. This guy should be smaller actually. Okay, for now maybe, maybe this is the view. Anyway, it's just for a demonstrations. Oh, this this app is called hallway tile by the way and just now I closed the window tile join hallway hall okay yeah cool um, I like this character with uh, some interesting face uh, let's see okay anyway so let's try doing like live nodding thing. We have a bunch of things that we can try. I think you can always start with mesh primitives, right? But there's also curves primitives. They're a good good place to start. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today. Star. Okay, we make a star. And we can Maybe instance Susan head on the points of the stars. So, okay. It's probably a little bit strange doing it like this. It could be slightly distracting, but I don't know. 
this I think I wish they can display this window and also display uh, blender windows so they can experience the holding okay maybe maybe do it like this I've never actually done like uh, this type of avatar presentations but at any time in point someone can come in into the VR land like and then you show okay yeah all right I wish this head can be inside the VR land as well so you while you're doing presentations you can show your avatar face and all other users or avatar can actually look at your presentation so it's becoming kind of like a real world presentations it's pretty interesting okay just now okay yeah oh, okay all right so we are instancing Susan head on a star all right nothing too fancy and then we want to use maybe the normal and plug this into the rotations that's not gonna work because you probably need to use the align Euler to vector or something like that but you are using the normal not into the rotations into the vector so yeah so this is probably what you want so we are making some kind of mandala and of course Susan head is facing the the Y or the you know like more like the neg negative so you could use a vector math over here and just multiply multiply it by minus one would that work yes now the head is facing outward you can increase the number of the stars and even better maybe you can use rotate instances over here and then you can do the rotations so you have full control of this mandala okay this is just a simple basic stars you can try using resample and see what else can you get more interesting looking pattern oh yeah by the way with VR land okay if you're you're full screen right okay someone's okay you are I'm not doing my blender of course it's presentation stop um, people will be watching your presentation you can also share your webcam and also your microphone actually with the webcam you will be showing up here with your real face and then you can replace the webcam with the with the avatar that so that that might work actually yeah but, but this is the dome okay you, you have you made something in blender and while you are doing it live maybe you can send something over there into this world um, yeah right okay this is a nice looking shape Yeah, nice pattern. Let's just save this very quickly. To the desktop. I'll just call this Mandala. And okay, we need to realize the instance. But I also I also want to just remesh this just because you know because we can and it's uh, probably more interesting that way so I am remeshing Susan head and I will decimate it I will reduce the re uh, the, the resolutions so it's not like too heavy it's gonna slow down because it's doing the the instance it's realized all the instance it's becoming like real mess 
So it's process everything, okay? All this simple setup, but it's also giving you like a complex result. Export as JLB, include selected object, apply modifier. So we're gonna try to send this into VRLAN. Let's try a different avatar, I don't know. People will have like a different reactions to the avatar because they're humanoid. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting actually, yeah, how human actually interact with avatar. I mean, I like like a more abstract looking avatar. You can of course use your own, your own avatar eventually. Okay, let's try this blender blender avatar. Let's see if this okay. Yeah, you can import your own avatar, your own model. Um, I haven't tried it. Anyway, yo, back to the back to this place. Uh, my space is. I should be creating my own space. Um, create conference. Okay, generate. So this is the demo for the for the presentation space. Uh, okay, let's go run screen share window blender share. Oh, okay. Hide this. Oh wait, just put it there. Okay, we have this mandala happening now i'm gonna upload the model i have too many <laughs> blender opens desktop mandala 3.2 megabyte i mean the vrlan actually can host a lot of 3d objects and they're usually pretty light i mean you can upload like 20 100 gigabyte i mean 100 megabyte even and oh anyway i just put i put the object and this is the mandala i will rotate it 90 degrees okay yeah cool all right so imagine this is your this is your audience maybe you have like 100 of audience and they suddenly saw these objects appear because you put it there okay um I think that could be kind of like magical, right? Because here you just give a presentation and then suddenly what you created here showing up as a model here. I think there's a kind of nice feeling. And then your, of course your audience or your students will take a look at it. Okay, oh, cool. I will try this myself. I wanna, like they want to try making this kind of art as well in their own space okay so that's basically the idea it's a I'm still this is my first time testing out these new features so screen share window Chrome tab so you can share anything including uh, Safari Chrome tab and share okay all right so now we are done with this, we save it, and then I can send the blend files with the students and it should be available for them. But this is, yeah, you can now tell them, okay, this is the result, right? You can make your own, uh, maybe give it a nice material. You have to do the UV first, maybe, and then paint it in Blender, etc. All right. So yeah, that's basically what I want to show you today. Uh, using BS Live. I always, I always say like live or like a live noting and this is like something I, I like to try. This should be like live on uh, something like TikTok or something but I think TikTok, you know, TikTok is mostly for video. If it's like a metaverse or something, I really like VRLAN because it's really simple to use and it's just it just works on the website and you can just send, send the link to your friends Tell them, okay, I want to do a presentation in about one hour. Just come over as avatar. And currently we are only using this, this guy's avatar. 
Okay. Um, from Wolf 3D, which is like uh, like this character. But yeah, we will try in the future something similar. Okay, look. I'm watching, I'm actually watching myself talking like this. All right. Um, thanks again for tuning in today and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Oh, it would be nice. Actually, in the future, maybe we're going to have hands. Okay, augmented hands and augmented avatar should be enough for, you know, presentation from in front of your desktop. Um, yeah, I think this is neat. All right. Thanks again, VRLAN and then halfway tile to provide the app. Um, hopefully you enjoy this and also thanks to Blender Foundations. Uh, for providing blender without blender it's gonna be um, my dream of making like a story with 3d it's gonna be over already but yeah i think this is neat all right can send reaction send hard i mean yes you can do like sitting down dance all right Hopefully you find this interesting. Interesting. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.